you have to be a serious setup to accommodate the ability to make a mould of that calibre. The precision and the technology involved is, is immense. Well, we were on the previous boat, which was a sailing catamaran. There's always rum involved. And going over what we did for the day and how good things were and where we'd like to change if it was possible, we could change and make things better. So we thought, OK, let's go up with a design then of going back to a power boat and uh, make it as efficient as a sailing boat. We, we were driven back to Australia by COVID. COVID forced the hand for us to design and build a, the next boat. We went to all, you know, I would say nearly all the boat builders in Australia and they were either too busy, it was too big of a job, or it was going to be too expensive. In that process, one of the boat builders I sent it to was McConaughey's. Now McConaughey's background is building our race boats for the yachting world, precision carbon fibre components for race cars. They're very advanced. That's their modus operandi is to be up there and breaking, breaking ground where no one's been before. I floated it past them, not expecting them to pick up. Got a call and uh, yeah, they've come on board and taken it to the next level. Twenty-four metre or eighty foot is getting up there. You have to be a serious setup to accommodate the ability to make a mould of that calibre. The precision and the technology involved is is immense. What makes it easier is the 3D modelling that goes on with McConaughey. They, they're modelling it all the time, so you can see it in 3D, uh, but you're fine-tuning all the way to launch, and, and they were happy to do that. Overall, it's a 24-metre power boat, uh, power catamaran. It's got modern lines and uh, approach to the sea with the bows. To the eye, it's like, this is new, this is not another one of those catamarans. This is completely a new concept. The underwater shape is so efficient that it's taking half the horsepower to do twice the speed that we've done on a sailing cat. The other thing too was efficiency. We're always trying to be more efficient. The previous boats were burning fuel rates per, we do it per nautical mile, and this boat was to do half that fuel burn rate. And that's mainly because we could get 7.2 kilowatts of solar cells up on the flybridge roof. And the Victron system is working very well to run the boat during the day and well into the night. And the requirements for a generator is nearly nil. Old fashioned stuff like a Portuguese bridge. People just love sitting up there and being able to talk to the captain and getting a good view of approaching to islands or beaches. It is a jaw-dropping moment when they step on board that boat and it just never ends every single time.